So we actually met in elementary school. Um, I remember him just vaguely though. Um, I just remember the name more. I was looking for a date for prom. I started thinking back and I, I thought of Jordan. And how cool it would be just to ask someone to dance and ask someone to prom. I broke off from the group and I went up and I asked her to prom and she said yes. And then we hugged awkwardly after her. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so surprised. I was like sitting there talking to my friends and so I looked behind and here's Greg. He like walks me up like a few steps on the bleachers and I was like, will you go to prom with me? And I was like, yes. I want you to prom me. Why don't we rely? Why don't we collide the spaces that divide us? I want you to want me. La di da da di da. La di da da di da. La di da da di da. And I think it was a week later that it was prom. And that was just like a magical night. That was a fairy tale. He walked me up to the door and he like went to ring the doorbell. <laughs> and so I like kind of grabbed his hand and I was like, no, it's okay, you don't have to ring the doorbell. <laughs> he pulls me in and he takes his forehead and he lifts my head up and he kisses me. And that was my first kiss um, ever. And it was actually- Yeah, it was my first kiss ever. It was both of our first kisses, so it was really cool. And I told him right when we started dating, I'm gonna go up to college and then I'm gonna go on a mission. And I came home after my second semester and then I got my mission call. I told him, you do your thing for two years, I'm gonna do my thing for two years. I said goodbye and I left, um, not expecting to hear from him. But that doesn't mean that I, I didn't think about him a lot. I started wanting to get back in contact with her and about two months later I, I, I got a letter from Jordan we started talking after that and we built built back from the ground up again what we had. From the very beginning of my mission, I had thought to send the missionaries over to his house. I found them on Facebook and I, I sent them a message. I got a knock on the door and they're like, it's the missionaries. But we we kind of just connected right off the bat. We would always meet and say, okay, what's next? When do you want to meet, you know? And it was always me saying it. One day it was, okay, so are you, are you ready to get baptized? <laughs> I got a message from the elders and I can't remember the exact words, but it was something where like, I hope you don't have any plans for December 20th because you have a baptism to go to. And I, I just started crying and it was a really special uh, moment to just kind of like reflect and think back and see how the Lord has been working through this whole whole process. And so I I got home. The next day I saw him and, and he didn't know that I was talking to the elders. They hadn't said anything, I hadn't said anything. He says, and I have a surprise for you. I'm getting baptized tomorrow. And the first time I heard it from the elders, it was super special, but it was like 10 times more hearing it from from him. Um, I show up at his baptism and probably like 10 minutes before he actually went into the water, I lean over <laughs> and I told him, I'm like, hey, and he let you know I sent the missionaries over two months ago. And he just looked at me and was like, what? I was like, I gotta rethink my whole, <laughs> my whole life right now. Like, <laughs> this changes everything. And then after about 10 minutes of thinking about it, I was like, this changes nothing. It was, it was me, it was really me. Ever since then, we've, we've been together, we've been side by side. And I love the song, like, I Thought I Loved You Then, the country song, and I think that relates completely to us, is I thought I loved him in high school. I thought I loved him when I left for college. I thought I loved him when I went on the mission, and I thought I loved him yesterday. But today, it's just, it's so much more. And that's gonna be the rest of our lives. <laughs>